Another, another cure, another cure is to, to have what I'm going to call right mind. With a W. <laughs> right mind. Yeah, with a W. The W in front. Right mind. Okay. And by right mind, what I mean is that when you're studying, you want to have an internal conversation with, with yourself. Actually, having an internal conversation with somebody else would be kind of weird. So you don't want to do that. <laughs> but have an internal conversation with yourself. Now, and, and what do you think, what is the internal conversation that you want to have? There's only, there's only one question you want to ask yourself when you're studying with right mind. Why? Not why. What's the, what's the fundamental question of honesty when you're, when you're, when you're, when you're working on math? Do I get it? Am I really getting this? Do I have this? And being willing to say, no, I don't, and being willing to sit with that is the thing. I have seen students lie to themselves and lie to themselves. Students come in and say, Doc, I studied for this, and I understood this, and I failed this exam. <laughs> OK, so, so you weren't doing something right. I mean, this is one of the few things where you can put all this work in, and you can still fail, right? So the question is, how do you make the work that you're going to put in anyway, how do you make that effective? Well, right? you have to make sure you like, get to like, point, like, you have to like, set, like a small goal for yourself. And if you never like, get to like, a certain point of understanding, it's like easy. But you have to make sure you like, get to it. You have to matter how long it's crazy. So you got it. So you so you're talking about the salami method and say, okay, well I'm just going to get this much and let me get this before I take the next one. Sometimes like the homework I'll do is like I'll just try to get like a couple problems and I'll have to keep going back to free read. But like like if I'm not like I'm trying to tackle the whole homework at a time, I just like do it slowly, you know. Right on. That's that's exactly right. I mean, and and so one of the one of the beautiful things about this book is that is that a lot of times I would I would do exactly that. I take a look at a problem and then I go back and read the book. But I read the book with the question in mind, so that as I'm reading the book with the question in mind, then maybe the answer will, will reveal itself. As opposed to sitting down and reading a math book like a novel and, and knowing that there were some ideas and kind of blowing past 90% of it and supposing, well, I said, well, okay, so I've read the book now. I ought to be able to do the problems. But it's not, it doesn't work that way. So it's an iterative process. It's very iterative, right? Back to it. You rinse, rinse and repeat is, I think, what people say.